What's up everyone? In this video, we're gonna be doing a speed test comparison between the new Apple MacBook Air M3 versus an older Apple MacBook Pro M1. Let's go. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Sergio and in this channel I make life-saving tech videos. So if you're new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. All right, I also got a bunch of cool links down below in the description, so check them out and let's jump right in. All right, so in this video, we're gonna be doing a variety of different speed tests to determine and see how much faster the MacBook Air M3 is than the older 2020 MacBook Pro M1, all right? This used to be a very good laptop for the price. So in this video, we want to compare how that M1 chip holds up to the new to the new M3 chip. So we're gonna be doing a couple different speed tests. We're gonna be booting them up to see which one boots up the fastest. We're gonna be editing some videos to see which one saves video in 4K the fastest. And we're gonna be running a couple of different benchmark tests. Let's go. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin with the boot test. We're gonna press the power on button at the same time on both of these MacBooks. Ready and go. So the MacBook Air M3 did show the Apple logo slightly faster. As we can see, the loading bars of both of them are loading. And almost the same time, but the M3 is slightly faster by milliseconds. All right, so I'm gonna be dragging and dropping some files from a SD card that I have on the MacBook Air M3. So let's test out the speed of the transfer. So it's two video files, both of them a total of about two and a half gigabytes. Let's go ahead and select both of them and drag and drop them to the desktop and start the timer to see how long it takes. And go. So as you can see, it says estimated time remaining, about a minute. We'll see if that's about right. And then we're gonna go ahead and do it on the MacBook Pro M1. Loading bar is almost complete. It's about a minute and five seconds now. And there you go, a minute and 10 seconds, almost a minute and 11 seconds. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the MacBook Pro M1. And let's go ahead and reset the timer here. Let's go ahead and open up the SD card, select both videos and drag and drop them to the desktop. And when I release, we will hit start. Ready and go. So there you go, the timer has started. It is calculating the amount of time it's gonna to take to transfer. It also says about a minute. So as you can see, the loading bar is halfway through and it is almost done. And there you go, one minute, 13 seconds and 23 milliseconds. So pretty close, however, the MacBook Air M3 did win that one. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and open up iMovie and we're gonna go ahead and edit these videos. Let's see which one opens up iMovie the fastest. Okay, looks like the M3 one opening iMovie. All right, so now that we have all the videos loaded up on iMovie, we're gonna go ahead and export in 4K video quality. Okay, so we're gonna go to export file here, export file. We're gonna make sure resolution is at 4K. Okay, we're gonna do a uh, high quality and compress better quality. All right, so uh, once we are ready, we're gonna go ahead and hit next. So here we have to save the video. So let's just name it test and test. All right, uh, so now when we hit save, now it will begin to save to see which one does it the fastest and go. So up here we have the loading bars on both MacBooks and uh, we can see the progress here. Okay, so as you can see, they're both about a quarter of the way done. All right, so now it says about one minute on each of them. They are a little bit more than three quarters of the way done exporting the video. I do see the M3 getting a little bit ahead and closing in on it first, but the M1 is right there. It is, it's gonna be so close. I'm not even sure if we're gonna be able to tell the difference. All right, so this is pretty close. Uh, so they are both almost about done. Let's keep a close eye on it. All right, so the Apple Air, MacBook Air M3 did win. It is finished. And now the MacBook Pro M1 finished as well. So super close. I would say the difference was probably about 10 seconds. All right, so next up, we're gonna run a benchmark test. It's called Performance Index 64. All right, so here we have both tests up on both MacBooks. And here on the side, it gives you a couple different tests that you can run. You can run tests for the CPU, GPU, RAM, disk, and interface. All right, so I'm gonna enable CPU, GPU, RAM, and disk. 
I think those are the main ones that I want to run. Uh, so once you have them all selected, we're gonna go ahead and hit start on both of them. Okay, so here it says testing may take a long time depending on your system configuration. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and hit okay. So here we're gonna test and see how fast each computer can run this benchmark test. And then also the benchmark test will give us scores at the end. So once you're ready, we're gonna hit okay in three, two, one. So the benchmark test is starting on both MacBooks. I'm going to go ahead and start a timer so that we can see how long the benchmark takes on both of them. So it looks like the MacBook Air M3 began the GPU testing before the MacBook Pro M1. As you can see, this gauge here is now uh, going up. It's moving up. So as you can see, this one is already scoring a little bit higher as it says 16.7 G5 and on the MacBook Pro M1, it says 14 G5. So I just lapped it. It looks like the M1 finished the test faster and the Apple MacBook Air M3 is still trying to finish. So I'm going to press stop here as soon as it's done. And there you go. As soon as this message comes up, it is done. So here are the tests summary. Um, so it says that uh, this one got a score of 18.6 G5 total and the MacBook Pro M1 17.1 G5 total. Let's go ahead to details over here. Okay, so here uh, on the CPU test results, it's the MacBook Air M3 has a one core score of 25.58 G flops while the MacBook Pro M3 at 21.99 G flops. The MacBook Air M3 is rated eight cores at 172 G flops, while the MacBook Pro M1 at 142.62 G flops. The GPU on the MacBook Air M3 scored 1,702 objects at 60 frames per second, while the MacBook Pro M1, 943 objects at 60 frames per second, and 2,668 objects at 30 frames per second, while the MacBook Air M3, 3,678 objects at 30 frames per second. So the MacBook Air M3 being the clear winner. As far as the RAM test results, the MacBook Air M3 read a 512 kilobyte block. It scored 26 thousand four hundred and eighty five point one while the macbook pro m1 read 512 kilobyte block at twenty thousand and twenty one point nine once again uh, the macbook air m3 being the clear winner here for ram test results as well now for disk test results the macbook air m3 has a disk write speed of 2106, while the MacBook Pro M1 2364. So the MacBook Pro M1 did score higher uh, with the read and write disk speed. The read speed is 2495, and the read speed on the Air M3 is 2394, so a little bit lower. So on most of the tests, the MacBook Air M3 did score higher. However, what I don't understand is why the MacBook Pro M1 finished the benchmark test faster than the MacBook Air M3. Uh, I'm guessing that may have been because of the disk speed uh, is what's being used to run this test along with obviously the processor as well. And now we're going to run a CNET bench test, which is a full GPU test. All right. So here we're going to select on both of them a CPU multi-core test. So uh, let's go ahead and hit start and we're going to set the timer as well. So ready and start and start the timer. So the Cinebench R23 test has started on both of them. Let's see which one finishes first. So this test isn't close to being done yet, but I can already tell the Apple Air M3 a GPU is way better than the M1 and much faster because it is advancing through this test much faster than the MacBook Pro M1 is. And as you can see on this list over here, the Apple M3 is actually rated number four on this list of the fastest multi-core processors, while the M1 is rated number seven. So somehow, incredibly, the MacBook Pro M1 finished first. And also, incredibly, the MacBook Air M3 scored higher. So it received a CPU multi-core score of 9,249 points, while the MacBook Pro M1 received 7,790 points. So a lower score, although it did finish the test faster. All right, everyone, so that is the speed test comparison between the MacBook Air M3 and the MacBook Pro M1. Go ahead and destroy that like button if you enjoyed the video. Comment down below and let me know. That's all for this one. I'll catch you in the next one. As always, peace.